basically will walk there free. Whatever he does wrong, he does wrong. And then on the way back, I'll do some structure. Is he reacting to that? Oh. Lays flat. Lays flat? Hey, but you can do it before. Or they, they said like he crouches down and, and tries to crawl. He feels with me, let me tell you. He crouches down and tries to crawl to them. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Trying to crawl towards the dogs. So it's a desire to go towards. Okay. And he figures if I wait, you know, maybe I can. So that's fine. We haven't seen that in a while, the dogs. It is common. Uh, he's interested in being part of the pack, which is great. You know, high pack drive. He's more than happy to follow. To a degree, he's still following us. You can see it. You know, if we went straight, he would go straight. If we turn, he'll turn. You know. So that's pretty good. See all those little check-ins. Good boy. He's just trying to see what direction are we going. Yeah, they said. I was like, what would happen? You know, if you let go of this leash, or if he got away from you? And they said like he wouldn't. He wouldn't like bolt and run away and end up on a highway. He, would just kind of he will not come when called though. Yeah. Like he's yeah. he's in his own world, but he's not going to run away from the pack, which is good. Yeah, that's a big plus. I think he's got a fantastic temperament. Uh, you know, he is what he is. He's a pit bull. Before that, I think it's great. Towards dogs, he's playing with his and stuff. I think he's still got a little bit of that, like, got to check his plane, make sure it doesn't get too rough. But this is great. Depending on where you live, you know, the recall is all you really need if you live in the woods in a stay. You know? Yeah, he's enjoying himself. We won't go too far, but we'll go a little bit down here. Great. He's doing a good boy. I, I like him. Very puppy like still, which is, you know, to be expected at that age. But I feel like he's gone up a, a level of maturity ever since he's even in a day, you know, just because of where he. His current company, he knows that, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person that if he does something I don't like and I voice it, if he continues, that I'll, then I'll physically correct. And that just alters the way that he treats me and the world around him while he's with me. Um, it's great. And then you can shape, you can shape the dog's uh, behavior. Now I'm going to turn around without telling him that. It's a good boy. Yeah, that's all good pets there. Some dogs, like the dog were, that just came in the Mallee in this moment, you know, he today, if I brought him out and did that, I think the Mallee would take it as an opportunity to run away. Say, so, oh, we're far enough away, now's my chance. Um, again, we're talking about a dog who didn't leave the kennel first day after I asked him not to, he just didn't, even though the door was there. So this is all temperament stuff. Good boy. Look at all these scars on his face, you know? They said they were there when they got him at I think weeks. they look cool, but I wonder what happened. Probably got bit by a dog. Yeah. Good boy. I noticed the Malinois has scars on his face, too. Yeah. yeah. As soon as we hit the road this time, I'm going to ask uh, for a little bit of follow. Uh, he's only on day two, so he doesn't really have much there. But we'll see. We'll see what he's got.
break. Break. Break.